The recent controversy surrounding Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Booker's commencement speech at Benedictine College has intensified, drawing significant backlash from various quarters. Booker's remarks, which included calling Pride Month a deadly sin, criticizing diversity and equity initiatives, and suggesting that women find more fulfillment in marriage and motherhood over pursuing careers, have sparked widespread criticism. His speech, delivered at a small Catholic college in Atchison, Kansas, has not only ignited debates on social media but also prompted responses from prominent organizations and individuals. The NFL quickly distanced itself from Bucker's comments. Jonathan Bean, the league's chief diversity and inclusion officer, stated, Harrison Bucker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. This statement reflects the NFL's ongoing efforts to embrace diversity and inclusion within its ranks and its fanbase. GLAD, an advocacy group for LGBTQ plus rights, also issued a strong response, labeling Bucker's speech a clear miss and woefully out of step with Americans about pride, LGBTQ people, and women. The Chiefs, however, have remained silent on the matter, which could prove problematic given their recent efforts to attract and maintain a diverse fanbase, especially among women. In his speech, Bucker directly addressed the female graduates, suggesting that their greatest accomplishments would come from their roles as wives and mothers rather than from professional or academic achievements. He praised his wife, Isabel, stating that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and mother. This perspective did not sit well with many listeners and observers, who viewed it as undermining the value of women's professional aspirations. The backlash was further intensified by Bucker's reference to a Taylor Swift song while criticizing Catholic priests for catering too much to the feelings of their parishioners. Swift, who is dating Chiefs star Travis Kelsey and has been a prominent figure at Chiefs games, represents a modern, independent woman whose success challenges Booker's narrative. This juxtaposition drew additional ire from Swift's fans and feminists alike. Bucker's social media accounts have been inundated with critical comments, with many questioning his views on women like Swift, who have achieved significant success outside of traditional gender roles. Comments ranged from disappointment to outright condemnation, highlighting the disconnect between Bucker's views and the evolving perspectives on gender roles in society. Notably, Bucker's own family background appears at odds with his remarks. His mother, Elizabeth Keller Bucker, is a medical physicist at Emory University's Winship Cancer Institute in Atlanta, holding a degree in chemistry from Smith College. This irony was not lost on critics, who pointed out the successful career of Bucker's mother as a counterpoint to his speech. The fallout from Bucker's address also includes criticism of his comments on LGBTQ issues and diversity. He took a swipe at President Joe Biden and other Catholic leaders for pushing dangerous gender ideologies onto the youth of America, a clear reference to transgender rights. Additionally, Bucker condemned the celebration of Pride Month and criticized diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives as forms of tyranny against personal beliefs. Andrea Williams, a reporter for The Tennessean, highlighted the irony of Bucker's comments on diversity given his reliance on teammates like Patrick Mahomes, a black quarterback, for his own professional success. Mahomes' contributions to the Chiefs' victories, including their Super Bowl wins, underscore the importance of diversity and inclusion in achieving excellence. Yvette Walker, a journalist writing for the Kansas City Star, offered a faith-based critique of Bucker's speech. She pointed out that many women in the Bible played significant roles outside traditional gender norms, encouraging graduates to think for themselves and choose their own paths. The broader implications of Bucker's speech reflect ongoing societal debates about gender roles, religious beliefs, and inclusivity. As the NFL continues to expand its reach and appeal to a more diverse audience, incidents like this highlight the challenges and complexities of balancing personal beliefs with the league's commitment to inclusion. The chief's silence on the matter remains a point of contention, especially as they navigate the expectations of their growing female fanbase influenced by the Taylor Swift effect. In sum, the controversy surrounding Harrison Bucker's commencement speech has not only sparked significant backlash but also brought to the forefront important discussions about gender, diversity, and the role of personal beliefs in public discourse.